Yeah. Hi, Paul Richardson here from which we tackle again. Doing the flies of the month for trout fishermen. The month of May. Now the month of May is a very, very good month for your natural feed flies, your general flies, waterborne and airborne, but a great all-round nymph to actually imitate all of these natural aquatic larvae is the gold ribbed hazier. It's a fly that stood the test of time, caught me many fish, and it's very, very simply fished. I always fish it on either a midge tip line or an intermediate line, a line that sinks between half an inch and two inch per second. You don't want anything quicker than that because you want to fish this fly as slow as you can really. It's a really simple way to fish it. You literally just cast the fly out, again cast across the wind if you can, try and just let that fly drift with the natural motion of the water. Introduce a slow figure of eight retrieve to that so you're actually just putting a little bit of life into that nymph and it'll get you many, many takes. The reason it gets you so many takes is because, as I said, the gold ribs hairs here actually imitates so many different types of underwater larvae that it's very difficult to actually stipulate which one it specifically imitates. There are so many out there it does. A fantastic all-round fly, fishes all around the year, but great in the month of May when natural life is in abundance in the water. So the fly I'm using today is the gold ribs hairs here. This is actually the flashback version of this fly. There are obviously other variations in it with slight tweaks, different weights and different thicknesses in the fly tie-in just to represent all those different sized bugs out there. Perfect for any of your gold ribs hairs here fishing.